I've uh, recently become uh, woke. Um, I don't know if you guys know that term. Uh, I just got woke. Um, if you don't know the term, it's a black Twitter term. It originated on black Twitter and basically just like a bunch of black, black people on Twitter got really angry about like all the injustice that's going on in the country and the hashtag is stay woke. So basically you just get like really angry about injustice and then you just don't go to sleep because um, you're so awake because of everything that's going on. And I got super woke right before I went to India. Uh, I went to India, I was like shitting on America so much, I was just like, America's garbage. You know, like uh, Sandra Bland and uh, Flint water crisis is fucking bullshit. Two days in uh, India, and I was like, uh, God bless America. Oh my God, I pledge allegiance to the stands. Guys, third world countries are rough. It was rough. Uh, I'll tell you guys a little bit about me. Uh, I used to be made fun of a lot when I was in middle school. A lot of people used to call me an Oreo. They'd be like, Sharla, you talk white. You're white on the inside and black on the outside. You're an Oreo. Uh, which I just find so ironic now because I was recently diagnosed with a gluten allergy, um, which is literally the whitest ailment like on the planet. I'm from New York. Um, a lot of people have a lot of uh, you know, misconceptions about New York. I, I'm originally from Massachusetts and when I moved to New York, I was really nervous. Like people always tell you that New Yorkers are so mean. And I remember my first show in New York City, I got off stage and this like old crinkly white man came up to me afterwards and he was like, you wanna do some blow? <laughs> Just like right off the bat, no high or anything or great show, nothing. And I was like, is that cocaine, sir? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> And I was like, well, what do you expect me to do for it? And he was like, nothing, I just wanna party. <laughs> and like, seriously, I was like, people in New York are the nicest people <laughs> I've ever met. Like, how sweet was that man, right? Like, namaste, sir, peace be with you. I would love some free cocaine. <laughs> oh my God. There was one time when I was eating fried chicken in public though. Um, and this black guy came up to me and he was like, really? Are you really gonna eat fried chicken right now? And I was so embarrassed because like white people were sitting right next to me. And I was like, are you really gonna chicken shame me? In front of these white people? Like, white people would never do that to each other. They'd never be like, really? Are you really gonna eat hummus right now? In front of these black people?